And welcome back. We're in 1 Samuel chapter 26 this morning, and we're going to read now verses 21 through 25. And here we go. Then Saul said, I have sinned. Return, my son David, for I will harm you no more, because my life was precious in your eyes this day. Indeed, I have played the fool and erred exceedingly. And David answered and said, Here is the king's spear. Let one of the young men come over and get it. May the Lord repay every man for his righteousness and his faithfulness, for the Lord delivered you into my hand today, but I would not stretch out my hand against the Lord's anointed. And indeed, as your life was valued much this day in my eyes, so let my life be valued much in the eyes of the Lord, and let him deliver me out of tribulation. Then Saul said to David, May you be blessed, my son David. You shall both do great things and also still prevail. So David went on his way, and Saul returned to his place. So again, Saul relents. But interesting here what David says, you know, I valued your life. I, David, valued your life, Saul. And then David makes this request, and it's, uh, maybe you missed the subtlety of it, but again, lesson 24. And indeed, as your life was valued much this day in my eyes, so let my life be valued much in the eyes of the Lord. See, David is not has found out that you, Saul is one of those guys you can't trust. You can't turn your back on him. You can't close your eyes. You can't uh, plan to stand there and not expect that, it, that it's this crazy. He's going to throw a spear, stick you to the wall with a spear. David understands this now. And so instead of trusting himself, he's, he's trying to reconcile with Saul, but he is not going to trust the situation. There's too much evidence to the contrary. So he says, may the Lord, may the Lord, he says. Let my life be valued much in the eyes of the Lord. David isn't trusting himself to Saul, but he's very kind to Saul. Here, take your spear back, take your water jug back. Doesn't, he doesn't vocalize this, but as long as you live and you're, and you're kind of tweaked in your head, I, I'm just an exile. My life is at a dead standstill. And so that's the case that God gave to David. Was it fair? It, God doesn't promise us fairness. God doesn't promise us that everything's going to be, you know, we come to him and it's going to be smooth sailing all the way. That's not the way it is. Instead, there's a life to live. There's things to learn. And many times there's humility, letting God run the show his way. And we find out what that is and we submit instead of forcing our way forward ahead of the Lord. Let's pray about that. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for David. And we pray that we will be careful and not run ahead of you. Help us to be serving you with wisdom and with humility and not get ahead of your plan. Your plan is always best. Thank you for delivering David. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That's a hard line sometimes. It's very much easier to get a couple steps out there ahead of the Lord, but let's not do it. May we not do that today. Let's walk side by side as he's guiding us along the way. God be with you.